What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Now, yes, as you can see right here, we are on Pokemon Home, which is the storage system for our Pokemon games, uh, you know, containing all our Pokemon that we may have captured throughout any other games right here. So what I'm going to do right here right now is I kind of want to show you guys what I'm going to be doing right here, because I, I'm pretty sure many of you guys are wondering, why is Draven, you know, switching Pokemon left and right and all that crud? And where is he getting all these other Pokemon from? It's going to be very, very easy. I'm going to show you guys. That way, well, I don't raise no suspicion, because there's always going to be that one person out there saying that you didn't do this right or legally or anything like that. So let's go straight right here. I'm going to be going straight to me uh, Pokemon uh, Let's Go Pikachu. And as you can see, here's the amount of Pokemon that I actually caught in my very first, uh, my very first go around in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Uh, obviously, I have caught multiples of Pokemon right here, and on the other side right here is the current Pokemon list that I have. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna be putting in my Pokemon, uh, my Pokemon team from the first go around, which happens to be. Let's see, hold on. Which happens to be the, well, the one with uh, my regular Pokemon right here. So, as you can see, I got myself my Ultra Psycho, Hydra, Tank, Godzilla, and Thrasher. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm actually going to be putting them inside my, uh, my current Let's Go file right here. I'm not going to be using them, but there's just going to be a reminder that, hey, I actually have them now. I actually have them now, uh, or, I, or I've already caught them, so I don't need to get them anymore right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them right here, and I'm going to put Aaliyah right there in the front too, because she was actually my main Pikachu when I first played this game. So let's go right ahead here, and let's go with Thrasher. Now, Pokemon that you may have seen right here, such as an Aerodactyl. I have a shiny Aerodactyl right here. As you can see, I caught this in Pokemon Le uh, Pokemon Go, the, the game, and I also got myself a shiny Clefairy right here. As you can see, you, you can tell that it's a shiny Clefairy with its tip, uh, the tip of its, uh, of, its, uh, of its ears right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to get one more Pokemon out of this whole, this whole container right here, this Pokemon uh, home. As you can see, I already got Mewtwo, I already got myself Sparky, what used to be Sparky. And then Blastoise right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to add, let's see, hold on just a sec. As you can see, here's Pidgeot, the original Pidgeot that I've used. What I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to put in a Pokemon that I want on my team. And I think that's pretty much it, what I'm going to do right here. Everything else I'm going to incorporate later on into my walkthrough right now. So let's see, where is the Pokemon I want? Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Ah, there you are. Okay, so the next Pokemon that I want on my team is Dratini. I actually caught this Pokemon in my last go around. And I'm going to put this little guy right here. Well, actually, I'm going to put in the next. Okay, oh, hold on, wrong one, wrong one. I'm going to put him right here. That way I can actually get this guy. Now, in Pokemon Let's Go uh, Pikachu, I'm probably not going to be nicknaming all my Pokemon because some of them, yeah, of course, if you get them traded, you won't be able to, uh, to, uh, you won't be able to actually nickname them. So that's another Pokemon I want on my team. And let's see, any other Pokemon that I may have captured? Well, as you can see, I got a nice collection right here. And... I really have no need for any of these Pokemon because I will eventually get them in uh, in my current walkthrough right here. So that is pretty much what I wanted to show you guys, the legal way of getting these Pokemon. Of course, as you can see right here, you can actually get Meltran into this game too. It actually coincides with your Pokemon Go walk or your Pokemon Go uh, application that you have on your phone, which I'll be getting to later on in my walkthrough right here. So let's see, is there anything else? Anybody else? Nope. And with every start, you get yourself a Japanese Pikachu right here, too. So that's also very, very good. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're going to go straight to the gameplay. I'll be right back for, you know, the regular gameplay right here. See you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back into the game right here. And I'm going to show you guys what I've done right now. So... As you guys already know, I cannot use my original team with the exception of Aaliyah. 
mainly because every single one of these Pokemon are well above the level 60, 65 and all that stuff. Eventually, I'll be using them for later parts of the game right here. I'm not going to be using them on my gameplay. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build up my team right here. Of course, some of these uh, some of these members are not going to be on this team for very, very long. There is one Pokemon that I will be switching for a Mega Evolution. And I don't know about Pidgey, but there might be a switch right there too with another Pokemon, depending on what the situation uh, may recall. So, we'll see what happens. We really, like... In my opinion, it's going to be very exciting on how this team is going to take place and how it's going to take form and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure right here. As you probably remember, in the last episode, we defeated everybody from the Nugget Bridge. And now, we're going to be encountering some newer Pokemon right here, such as Venonat. Look at that. Oh yeah, Venonat is a very, very interesting Pokemon. And as you probably already noticed, we got ourselves more Pokeballs right here. And this guy will not... Well, it's moving around right here, so you got to move around, buddy. Come on. Move to the left side, and there we go. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the fucking ball. Damn it! Okay, so as you probably already know, I do have great balls right here. And with more great balls comes with more res responsibility right now. And this guy's just going to be moving around. Come on. Move around, you a-hole. Move around. I wonder if I can, like, move this... I don't know. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking ball. Stay in the ball. Yes. And look at that, guys. We got ourselves a newer Pokemon, Venonat, right here. Look at that. Pretty interesting Pokemon. And, of course, Poliswag grows to level 18. Very good level right there. And look at that. Venonat's data has been added to the Pokedex, and as you can see, it's 3 foot 3, 66 pounds right there. Its large eyes act as a radar. In a bright place, you can see that they are clusters of many tiny eyes. This is true. Now, if you guys are wondering how I got Bulbasaur and Charmander, remember, you have to capture at least, I, I want to say, 30 and 50 Pokemon. Now, it's not in your Pokedex. I mean... The amount of Pokemon, such as doubles, it doesn't really matter. It just capture as many Pokemon as possible in order to get these guys. That's why I had 63 Pokemon right there in my uh, my file, I think. Alright, so let's move on right here. And we're going to be battling another trainer, so... The goal is to evolve Pidgey right here. Because I kind of want to add it for my Pokedex. And let's see what you have to say. I saw your feet from the grass! Alrighty. So here we go, battling another trainer. Let's see what we got. His name is Camper Shane, and he is mad because we're in his grass, I guess. And he is coming out with his Pidgey, or his Spiro. So let's go right ahead and come out with Pidgey, its rival. Let's see what happens. I wonder who will win. So here we go, wing attack. Takes almost all of its HP, and here comes that peck attack right there. Let's go ahead and finish this guy off with the wing attack. There we go. Look at that. Pidgey, or Spiro had no chance whatsoever. Look at that. And just like that, we got ourselves more experience points. One step closer to evolving our Pidgey right here. And, well, this is a very, very good place to actually capture it. Nabra, I think. Could be wrong, though. And look at that. We get ourselves three raspberries. Much needed berries to actually capture more Pokemon. And, yes, intentionally run into that Venonat because... We want to evolve all our Pokemon right here. There we go. Damn it, this guy just... Come on. And that was nice right there. You got to be quick to the trigger right here, guys. You really do. And there we go. We captured ourselves another Venonat. Very, very good. Very awesome. And look at that. Mew is growing levels like crazy again. And, well... It's a good combination right there. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to, to get combinations or anything like that. Just trying to finish this game. But, you know, again, trying to evolve my Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and see what's out here Route 25. And, yeah, look at that. We're going to be encountering some more Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and capture this guy. Yes, let's capture this Duck right here. Look at this guy. Big and plumpy. He won't move around except for that. Wow. Come on. Got him. Okay. Stay in there. Stay in there. Come on. 
That's how you do it. Look at that. Good stuff. Good stuff. Look at that. I'm feeling good about myself capturing all these Pokemon. And Sparky grows to level 19. Pidgey's close to evolving. Come on. We're almost there. And as you can see, Psyduck, 2 feet 7, 43 pounds, always tormented by headaches. It uses psychic powers, but whether it intends to do it is uh, not known. Oh, well, okay. So that explains why in Pokemon the, the actual, you know, the actual uh, cartoon, it just like goes crazy and uses his confusion attack and stuff in big situations there. Look at that. Okay, capturing these Pokemon, making sure we're adding to the collection, being ready for what's next, and look at that. Look at that. Okay, so we caught ourselves another one, and everybody levels up. So does Pidgey, so we finally, well, we fulfilled what we needed to do right there. And look at that, Mew grows to level 10 as well, so this is pretty awesome. And, well, look at this, Pidgey is finally evolving. And of course, guys, that was the goal right there, just to try and evolve this Pokemon. I'm not really going to be using them on my team very long. I got other plans for that one right there. Look at that. Got ourselves a Pidgey right now good-looking Pidgey, right? Or Pidgeotto. And, well, it's going to be added to our Pokedex. Yes, sir, we're adding so much, and I didn't even read that Pokedex. <laughs> First time I haven't done that. Okay. Well, it was cool while it lasted, so let's go right ahead and... Well, hold on just a sec. Let's go right ahead and take him out of our, 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 our you know, team right here. So, you've been on our team for quite some time. Let's remove him. And let's see, who is actually, you know what, kind of want to use Scyther for the time being right here because it is a pretty good Pokemon. So let's go ahead and add him to our team right here. And well, that is pretty much it right there. So let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure. This guy might have some Pokemon that, you know, will probably give us trouble with just in the with uh, an electric type Pokemon. So what I'm gonna do is go with Poliswag right here and go ahead and battle this big boy. I just got down from Mount Moon, but I've still got gas in the tank. Maybe you should take care of that. Because if you still got gas in the tank, then that usually means you got gas. So here we go, Hiker Franklin wants the battle and he's coming out with his Onyx, looking all mean and everything. So let's go, Polyswag. Even though that's not really your name, let's get this. Okay, so let's go. Bubble attack right here. Or no, actually, water gun. Or no, yeah, it was a water gun. <laughs> Simple. Just like that, guys. Look at that. <laughs> and Mew growing like crazy, and it's finally learning a new move right here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So that was that, and there is a Pokeball close by right here. Now this is normally where we had the uh, the Mew uh, the Mew cheat right here, but we already got Mew. So let's go right ahead and uh, take care of business right here with this guy. I had this feeling. I knew I had to battle you. Well, do you want to battle me? Because I don't think you do. That'd be hilarious. So here we go. Youngster Chad wants the battle, and well, let's go right ahead and take on its Diglett right here. She picked up some really good Pokemon right now, so let's go right ahead. Poly Swag, let's do this again. Let's go with a Water Gun. Now, if you guys have noticed in my uh, Pokemon Home, you guys have noticed some of, the, uh, some of the Alolan forms that you know you can actually get in Alola. In this game, you can actually get Alolan forms. It's just you're gonna have to find the people that uh, that can trade you for it, and. Again, they are actually legal Pokemon that you can actually get in this game. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to be switching out. Let's try out Dratini. Now, the reason why I have Dratini on my team is because I've always wanted Dratini on my team for a very, very long time. Many of you guys already know, in my very first walk through Pokemon Leaf Green, when I was Draven XC711, I did have Dragonite as one of my team members. So, eh, what, you know, this is a remake game. It's not really, you know somewhat canon and all that stuff, I might as well use them right here while I have the chance. So let's go right ahead and use that Dragon Rage right here. Dragon type Pokemon. Look at that. Takes care of that. And here comes that wing attack. Mm -mm -mm. 
Alrighty. Let's go again. A Dragon Rage. And this guy just, like, evades it, so... Yeah, not going to happen right there. So let's go right ahead and try it one more time. Come on. Let's go, Dratini. Dragon Rage. For the win. Automatic 40 points right there, which is good. And just like that, grows to level 22. Just because it's a, you know, technically a quote-unquote, uh, quote-unquote traded Pokemon right there. So look at that. He's like, you're decent. Yes, I am. More than decent, I should say. Okay, so since it only has one move, I think I should just teach it. An, I think I should teach it a new move right here. So let's see. Let's go with a TM case, and well, it looks like everybody can learn headbutt. So let's go right ahead and give that to Dratini since it needs it. Uh, it's it, it probably needs it the most. So let's see. Let's go with the Leer attack right here, and bam, tada! Okay, so it has another attack. It doesn't have to waste Dragon Rage all the time. And let's go ahead and battle this kid. Dad took me to a great party being held on the SS and at the Vermilion Port. It was fun! Okay. Alrighty. It was fun. You know what's even funner? Getting your butt kicked right here. So here we go. Youngster Dan wants the battle. Coming with his Ekans. You don't scare me, Snake. Here we go. Dratini. Let's go. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's get this. Let's get this Dragon Rage right here. And unfortunately, we got a Leer, I think. Yeah, we're still not faster than this guy, so let's go right ahead and use a Dragon Rage. And I don't... Yeah. This guy is not going to listen to us right now, because it is a traded Pokemon. It is well above level 20, so... Yeah, that's not going to happen right now, and... Ah, oh, damn. We're poisoned! Okay, so that right there is an example of what not to use uh, before a gym battle. So what we're going to do right now, guys, is we're going to be switching it up right here. Let's go with Smasher. It is a Poison-type Pokemon, and it's one of my own, so it will listen to me in the long run right here. So let's go Smasher. Fully evolved, ready to kick some butt. And, yeah, you may squeeze her, but she ain't going to give up, man. Mm -mm. She ain't going to give up. Bring it. Alrighty, let's go with a body slam attack right here. Let's go, Smasher. That's right, use all 400 pounds of yourself. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And of course, Mewtwo or Mew grows to level 12 right here. And she's, or he's about to throw in a Rattata. So let's go ahead and continue right here. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. Double kick. Let's do the double kick. But here comes a quick attack. Yeah, that's not going to work. But here we go. Look at that. Oh, yes. How do you like me now? <laughs> yeah, buddy. And Smasher getting some points right here. And Polyswag grows to level 20. And we defeated Youngster Dan. Yes, sir. Okay, so... With that being said... I think I have to switch out my Pokemon right now because, yeah, Poliswag has just grown to level 20, so it won't obey me very much longer. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch out our Pokemon right here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to have to switch out three of our Pokemon right here just because of that whole situation. So I'm going to remove you from the team and Poliswag from the team as well. And Scyther has two more levels before it starts disobeying me so let's go right ahead and yeah you know what screw it let's put Bulbasaur into the team right here and I know that we already got a Charizard right here but it never hurts to actually complete the Pokedex since it does have two more levels to go so we got two backups right here we're not gonna keep them on our team very long so let's just go right ahead and do that that way we don't have any problems in the long run. So let's go right ahead and again switch out our Pokemon right here. Smasher did its thing, so let's go with Bulbasaur and, well, let's get it. I'm off to see that Pokemon Fanatic guy at the Cape. Alrighty. Let's go. Okay, so here we have Hiker Nub wanting to battle us and he will be coming out with his Geodude. Not a problem. Here we go, Bulbasaur. Let's get this. Alrighty. 
Now, it would be an easy battle for us if, you know, our Pokemon wasn't at level 20. Eventually, when we beat Misty, then that's when we can actually, you know, that's when we can actually use Pokemon in that situation. And as you can see, this guy is throwing a Stealth Rock at us, or Floating Rocks, I don't even know what it was. Let's go! And here it comes with its bite, so we got one more hit before it actually unleashes its energy, and look at that. Geodude defeated. Oh, yeah. And Scyther grows to level 19, so, <laughs> yeah, we're probably going to have to be switching up that guy, too. So, let's go ahead and take advantage of that fact. Let's go with Scyther right here, since it does have wing attack. Alrighty. Let's go, Scyther. Look at this guy, all mean and everything. Bring it, Machop. Bring it. And, yes, we got hit by the, the rocks right there. So, let's go with the wing attack right here. Wing attack does its thing. Say goodbye to Machop. And I'm feeling happy right there. Look at that. Hyger Knob has been defeated. We get money. We get Pokeballs. We're a little bit richer in the long run. Alrighty. So, let's see. We're going to have to switch out Pokemon again. Um... You know what? Let's go ahead and try out this Charmander right here. We will evolve it eventually, so let's go right ahead and use him. Let's see. I'm a picnicker! My boyfriend is a camper. Oh, really? You don't say. So, here we go. Another battle, and here comes picnicker Kelsey wanting to battle us. So, she will be coming out with a Goldeen, which is a horrible idea for us. We should have stayed with Bulbasaur. Look at this guy looking all mean and everything but yeah we don't got the attacks to to beat this Pokemon so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Sparky because mind you Goldeen may or may not have peck attack so that that could be uh, effective on my Bulbasaur right here so let's go right ahead with the quick attack right here and Sparky takes that so let's go with the zippy zap let's get this look at that zippy zap takes care of that business Goldeen defeated. Oh, yes. Man, I'm kicking ass. Taking names, doing everything, and Picnicker Kelsey has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. Alright, let's see, let's see if we have better luck with this guy. I'm a camper. My girlfriend is a picnicker. Wow, like I didn't know. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's see what we got. Pick or Camper Dustin wants the battle. Coming with this Squirtle right here, and Jeebus, picking the wrong Pokemon every single time. All right, I can do this. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, not the Pokemon that I wanted. So let's go right ahead and switch out to Bulbasaur right here. Two can play at that game using all three of the starter type Pokemon right here. Alrighty. Bring it, Bulbasaur. Let's do this. And here comes that bubbly attack. The bubbly. And it doesn't really do much. So let's go right ahead and use that Vine Whip. Come on. Vine Whip for the win. Oh, crud. Nearly beats him. So this guy right here using his tackle attack. So this is going back to, like, you know, very first battles in Pokemon. <laughs> Look at that. And here comes the bubbly attack again, and that won't be super effective. So let's go ahead and use a vine whip attack right here. And there goes Squirtle. Say goodbye to this guy. Yeah, buddy. And, well, Camper Dustin has been defeated. I feel good about it. So let's go ahead and grab that little item right there that you forgot to mention. Look at that. We found ourselves the TM-16 Thunder Wave, which will actually help us later on when... You know, when we try and beat everybody else, uh, you know, capturing Pokemon is pretty much just like what we're doing right now. And look at that, we found ourselves an Ether, much needed Ether, and is there an item right here? Could be wrong. Always check the bushes, guy. And, well, she sees us, kinda. My friend has so many cute Pokemon, I'm so jealous! You should be jealous. Okay, alrighty. Let's do this. Last Haley would like to battle, and she will be coming out with her Oddish. Finally, some good Pokemon that I can actually use my Charmander with. So let's go, Charmander. Let's do this. Do it for your uh, your Elder, Godzilla, Godzilla. Let's go. Bla or Ember attack does it, and it's burned. Finally, and here comes that growth attack. Okay, I see what you're doing. 
I see what you're doing and you're burnt. So let's go. Let's finish this guy off. Ember attack for the win. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's kicking butt, taking names, everything. And getting some experience points while we're at it. And here she's coming out with a Pidgey. So let's go with Sparky. Let's do this. Sparky, you are the awesome one right here. Let's go. Look at this Pokemon right here. It's looking all cute and everything. And here comes Pidgey. Okay, I see what you're going to do right here. So let's go with a Zippy Zap. That's right, Zippy Zap away. Look at that guy. How do you like me now? How do you like me now? Yes, sir. Look at that. And, well, Last Haley has been defeated. And I feel good about myself, too, because we're getting more Pokeballs at it. And... Well, I think this guy would like to battle us, maybe. I think, yeah, he does. You going to see Bill? First we battle. Alrighty. So, here we go. Another Pokemon battle. Final battle, I should say. And this guy is a fisherman. His name is Wayne. Fountains of Wayne here. Coming with his Magikarp. Yeah, not the best Pokemon ever. Really isn't. So, here we go. Charmander, ready to kick butt, yet we're still at the same level right here, so let's go ahead and scratch this guy. Unfortunately, Magikarp, for some reason, is still faster than us. Probably because of his Swiss Swim. So let's go with an Ember Attack. Let's fry this fish right here. Oh my god, this Splash Attack is destroying us. Yeah, buddy, okay, alrighty. Let's try it one more time. Come on! And look at that, it's splashing, it's splishity, splashing. Here we go again, that's right, and let's try this one more time. Splishity splash. What do you got? Ember attack. Defeats him. Look at that. <laughs> okay, and look at that, Mew grows to level 13. Yeah, I'm still not going to use him just yet. And, well, let's go right ahead and use another Pokemon. Let's go with Sparky, the Spark Pikachu. Alrighty, okay. Let's do this, Sparky. That's right. Looking all mean and everything. Coming out with a Krabby. Alright, Krabby. I don't like you. You probably like me, but here we go with a Zippy Zap. Zippy Zap does it. And there we go. Zippy Zap away. I'm flexing right now, guys. I am flexing. <laughs> this is awesome right here. And look at that. Sparky finally grows to level 20. So... I guess it's well within range to actually battle the gym leader in the next episode. And look at that, Smasher, growing levels too. So I'm happy. Very, very happy. We defeat this guy, we get three Pokeballs. We are legendary right now. So, let us move on right here. And we're finally at Bill's house right here, I guess. Yes, Bill's Cottage. And let's go right ahead and... Whoa, hold on. I think we should. <laughs> okay, what you got for us, baby mama? This area is popular for dates. I'm probably independent coach trainer at, at a date spot. I'll let you know I'm pretty strong. Want to battle or want me to battle you? Sure. Let's get this real workout going. Okay, so we're going out on a date with a uh, with a trainer coach, and her name is Amala with a beautiful pose, coming with her Machop. And well, shouldn't be that hard. Alrighty, bring it. Level 16 Machop. I think I'm going to be switching out my Pokemon right here. Let's go with Scyther. Hopefully it doesn't faint right here. It is a flying type Pokemon. Partial flying type Pokemon. So let's go Scyther. That's right. And here comes its Seismic Toss. Holy bejeebus. And that nearly takes us out. But guess what? We got Wing Attack right here. Look at that. Takes out this Machop. Say goodbye Machop. <laughs> yeah, buddy. And Charmander grows to level 15. Bulbasaur to level 14. And it wants to learn Poison Powder, which we will teach it. Let's take away Growl right here. It doesn't really need Growl. Alrighty. Okay. And it wants to learn Sleep Powder, so let's go right ahead and uh, take away Tackle. It really doesn't need Tackle. Eventually, I'm just going to like switch it up right here and there. So there we go. Sleep Powder away. And Amala has been defeated. That's right, girl. You need to be coached yourself. Whew, I haven't felt that. I haven't had fun like that in a long time. Here, take this. 
and we get ourselves the TM15 Seismic Toss. A very good move. It deals damage equal to the level of Pokemon that uses the move, which is good, because a lot of the Pokemon we're going to be battling, they're going to be higher level than us. Okay, so if you go in here, you're going to be wondering where Bill's at. Now, apparently there's a talking Pokemon in here. I don't see him. And we're walking by, we're looking, we're looking, we're looking. Where the hell are you? And then Pikachu's noticing it smells something. What the hell? What's going on right here? And there's that Pokemon right there. And here comes a Nidorino. Homeboy here is going to be like, Oh, it's standing up! Hiya! I'm a Pokemon! No, no, I mean, I'm Bill! Call me Bill! I'm a true blue Pokemon fanatic! Hey, what's with the skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out! Eh, yeah, sure, why not? I'm going to climb inside the teleporter, so you, you run the cell separation system for me. You can do that for uh, you can do that from the PC over there. You're gonna do it for me, right? Don't leave me hanging. I'm counting on you, pal. Sure, why not? Or we could just leave him inside the uh, inside the cell separator forever. But we're not like that. And of course, the screen says something about a teleporter. And there he goes. Whoa! I should get there. Uh, get it in there. Don't mess this up, okay? How am I going to mess this up? I want to know. You started up the cell separation system on the teleporter, and here we go. Oh yeah, we're pressing buttons here and there, look at that. And Pikachu's just having fun watching this whole thing right here, look at this! Oh damn! <laughs> Pikachu's loving it. And here's Nidorino. And it's running away, and here comes Bill! Look at this guy! Okay, alrighty. <laughs> Thank, thanks, bud. I owe you one. Hey, you got a Pokemon box right there in your in your bag. Good job. If you ever catch too many Pokemon on your Pokemon or in your Pokemon box gets full, send home of the send some of those Pokemon to the Professor Oak. I bet he might be he might be uh I bet he might be mighty thankful. Oh, look at me. I forgot to uh, I forgot my own head if it wasn't attached. I should do something to thank you, too. You did save me, after all. Here, maybe this will do. And we get ourselves the SS tickets from Bill. That crew shipped uh, the SS and pulls into the port in Vermilion City. They invited me to some party on board, but I can't stand fancy gatherings. Why don't you go instead of me? There are a couple of tickets in there, so I have fun with, some, uh, with a friend or something. Well, I think I know who I should give it to, but... I really don't want to. I really, really don't. Let's see. Pulls into the poor. Yes, he doesn't like fancy gatherings. So now, once you get out of there, nothing happens. But you go back in. And let's see. Uh, does he say anything different? Uh, okay, so nothing different happens. I don't think nothing different happens right here. Bill Sighting reports. Which one do you want to see? Uh, number 144. Here I am at the Seafoam Islands in my search for a Pokemon I've never seen before. I came across some rapid undergrounds, uh, rapids underground that are too far, too fast to swim across. I was exploring the area when suddenly I was hit with a blast of freezing cold. It was as if I was stuck in a blizzard. It got so cold I began to black out. As my consciousness faded, I saw a pair of shiny wings over the waves. Could that, could that have been the legendary Pokemon Articuno? When I came to, I was lying on the ground outside of the cave for some reason. I need to practice my swimming so the next time I can capture Articuno for sure. Alright, let's see what number 145 has to say. Here I am at the abandoned power plant in my search for a Pokemon I've never seen before. I had no idea that you could reach this place by swimming from, the, the, from that spot on Route 10. As I was exploring, one of uh, the Pokeballs lying, on the, uh, lying around suddenly attacked me. It made a huge explosion and knocked me out. But I do remember seeing some jagged looking wings as I blacked out. Could that have been the legendary Pokemon Zapdos? When I came to, I found myself lying outside of the power plant. As soon as I become able to withstand those explosions, I'm going back to catch Zapdos. Wow, this guy seems to be blacking out so much. Now let's see what 146 has to say. Here I am at Victory Road in my search for the Pokemon I've never seen before. 
It seems that you can't get very far without doing something about the stone walls in the way. As I was exploring the cave, I saw the most beautiful Pokemon. It was so beautiful that I got overwhelmed and passed out. Seriously, bro? You always pass out. Good God. As I did, though, I saw it flap it, its brightly burning wings. Could that have been the legendary Pokemon Moltres? When I came to, I was all alone. Next time, I, get, I got to stay conscious so I can capture Moltres for sure. Yeah, this guy has a real problem staying conscious. He really does. Well, I think that's pretty much it right there, guys. So, we've already defeated everybody. I think this is like 30 minutes long. And I, I'm honestly like right there with you guys. Yes, we will be going into the next gym battle. And it's going to be against Misty. Now, there is a Pokeball up there. So, I might as well just go back up and grab that Pokeball. And go down the other way, I guess. I don't know. So, anywho. I hope you guys are enjoying this walkthrough right here. Um, crud. Yeah, we, yeah, how many walkthroughs have I come out, have I came out since this whole pandemic started? I don't know. If you guys are kind enough to uh, to count it for me, comment down below. And, uh, yeah, like I said, this was supposed to be the year of Draven where, yes, I was going to be completing a buttload of walkthroughs. I didn't expect to, you know, come out with this many, especially Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Now... As I mentioned before, yes, I will be using different Pokemon. Uh, there is a good reason to why I brought in my my previous team in here, just in case you know we need to do anything else. So, yeah, I know that's kind of like somewhat cheating, but you know what? I kind of wanted it, wanted them right there. Now, once you're done with this whole, you know, uh, going up to the going up to uh, Bill's place, you cannot go in here. Uh, she's gonna stay put right here gonna be the same thing so you have to beat the gym leader in order to get by to the next town so that is exactly what we're going to do in the next episode guys we're going to be taking on misty the next gym leader and then we'll see what happens from there so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time